Uh, uh, good job. Good job, buddy. I'm going to practice, buddy. Sweet potato kiss. Mmm, mm, delicious. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you want to share? Say, go on, get it, Dad. You're going to be mm -hmm. late. You want to share? Where am I supposed to put this? Oh, you, oh, uh, you can't put your bag in there? No, I can just hold it. Can we just hold it? Head? Oh, it's got wheels. <laughs> it's got it's wheels. I'll just hold the, I'll hold the handle <laughs> outside. Right? Like uh, that would be great, dude. We actually no. probably should do that. <laughs> That should be hilarious. <laughs> These wheels are smoke off this thing. I always think Smokey's going with this. Usually a uh, smoke dog, my dog comes with us, but parents parents took him for the fight week because uh, I'll be in LA. We'll be able to take care of my dogs. Got those? Sir. Thank you. I believe this is my 35th fight, and uh, I've done a lot better over the years of just dealing with this kind of stuff and, and um, having my family around and being so close with the guys I train with. It, it's becoming easier and, and just kind of enjoying the ride. I, I remind myself all the time, like, hey, you're not gonna do this forever. Just enjoy the ride, you know? Let it be exciting. For other people, Madison Square Garden is like, oh my gosh. For me, I, I, that doesn't mean anything to me. For me, Staples Center, uh, the Forum, I'm a Lakers fan, I'm a, I'm a Cali kid, so Staples Center, that, that's an honor for me. That's that's like, oh my God. I bought $26,000 in tickets, so that was just my close friends and family. Those are just the people that, that are in my phone book that I said yeah to, you know, so uh, I'm going to have a good crowd there. Cody. Yeah. Okay. Cody's looking good, man. You know, uh, this week's just gonna be all about fine tuning, but for the most part, we're gonna be focusing on technique, game plan, getting the feet moving. You know, I think movement is gonna be a big key in this fight. Short time. Short time. DJ's talking a lot of crap this time. You know, he's probably got a lot of confidence from that last fight. And, you know, I think anyone would be, he was the better man that night. But uh, he lit a fire under Cody, he lit a fire under uh, all the coaches, and uh, it's gonna be a different fight this time. Coming for you, buddy. Enjoy that belt while you can. You talking ass shit, too. I know that with this time that when I do strike, TJ's not gonna be able to handle the blow, and he's gonna get knocked out and uh, I'll be victorious. So I know my training conditioning, I know that my all my training, you know, I'm, I'm well prepared for this. I know that he's not gonna last this full fight. I'm very excited to go out there and, and showcase what I've been working on. You know, I've been focused all camp and uh, just uh, focus on the task at hand and that's getting the title back. Yeah, find that foot and get those wheels back. You reset when you want to. All right, good. This walk's inspired by Sugar Sean O'Malley. Gotta feed the machine. The ingredients, water and oats. <laughs> How's it going? How are you doing, champ? Good, you? Good, good. This will be a what? 12th defense title? Yes, sir. Best of luck to you, champ. Thanks, I appreciate it. How's it going? So Tuesday we're doing Media Row in uh, Los Angeles, going around to all the major media outlets to pump up the fight. What's up, guys? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, our friend Demetrius Johnson back in the city with us here on the Kevin and Bean Show. How are you, sir? I'm good. I'm good. Thanks for having me back on. We know how much better you are since the last time you fought Henry. Yeah. How much better is he? I mean, we're going to find out. I mean, I love how he, <laughs> in a whole entire thing, he goes, you know, I'm, I'm Henry Cejudo. You know, this is a one, once in a lifetime chance that I get. And again. Uh, again. <laughs> and uh, I, want, I want to see how good you really are. Uh, it's been two years I've been training. What the hell you think I've been doing for two years? <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited to get in there and fight him again and see how much he's improved. On to the next. On to the next.
No, we're in LA. We're in the we're in the hurry up and wait game. But I'm happy to be here, man. Happy to be in LA. A lot of people don't know this, but I was actually born in California. I was born I, I was I was I was born maybe about 10 minutes away from uh, the Staples Center. He got Beats and I got American Airlines headphones. You see, the coach has the the Beats. The Beats and I got American Airlines, baby. What you guys know about that? I'm starting a new trend over here. The opposite of Conor McGregor, saving money. <laughs> <laughs> so now I got a conference call with TJ and uh, Demetrius. Saturday, August 4th at the Staples Center in Los Angeles. A couple questions for Demetrius Johnson. Everyone's going to talk about this at some point, but the fight between you and TJ and Bill that didn't come together. Is that something you'd still be interested in in the future against TJ or Cody, I guess I should say, whoever wins in the, in the title fight? I've always been up front about, you know, these super fights. Everybody keeps talking about these super fights. So for me, I, I show up and fight the number one contender in the flyweight division. I'll continue to do that until uh, something uh, comes to my comes to my uh, table and it's uh, appetizing. Yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on, real quick, ladies and gentlemen. Demetrius has to give past me first. You guys, you, you're you're jumping the gun, reporter. You're jumping the gun a little bit on this. I'm sorry, Henry. I won't do it again. I apologize. <laughs> Demetrius Johnson, the co-main event for UFC 227 Saturday night at Staples Center, flyweight championship. Your game weak, dog. <laughs> the chest game strong. I give the chest. I don't know, man. I mean, that soul patch is looking weak. You got to go spread out like Ryan Reynolds style. He says he's a very different fighter. That that fight happened earlier in his career. Maybe he wasn't ready for you and a, and a title shot. Yeah, absolutely. You know, uh, after our first fight with Henry Cejudo, I've gone off to be able to defend my belt. You know, two more times. I, I can't remember how many times. Maybe two or three more times. Uh, but fighting, you know, Ray Borg, fighting Wilson Hayes, uh, getting two uh, amazing armbar submissions. So for me, when somebody can perceive something however they want to, I don't try to focus on that. All I focus on is what I could do in the octagon, which is fight. Uh, try to stay healthy and win my fights. That's all I focus on. When it comes to legacy, you will be able to decide what my legacy is. Demetrius Johnson, check him out. UFC 227, Saturday night, right across the street at Staples Center. Hey, best of luck in the fight. Thanks a lot for coming by. We appreciate it. I appreciate it too. I thought it was behind me, and I thought the beef would be squashed, but uh, they held on to it, man. They held on to that anger. They held on to that. That jealousy, so it continued. Thank you, Roger. Oh, perfect. 144.5. Championship win coming soon. Stay tuned. <gasps> Uh, I knew Mike, uh, you know, he's giving me great uh, advice outside of the ring, inside of the ring, to be a great fighter, great human. When you win the belt back this time, you appreciate it. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited to get it back. Drink two gallons of water, water really just, is that what you did? Or are you just running? I did a lot of running too, but Drink the water. It comes to all my fights and, you know, stay in touch with that. So it's great to have Mike Tyson in your corner. You guys staying in uh, OC? You guys staying in LA? In OC. OC? Yeah, we do a way back in the city. Appreciate that. It's always good to see you, Mike. Yeah, appreciate it. Good to see you always.